and welcome back to India Business Insights. Today, let us have a word about the electronic vehicles industry or the EV market. The electric vehicles industry is at a nascent stage in India. It is less than 1% of the total vehicle sales, however, has the potential to grow to more than 5% in a few years. At present, there are more than 2.1 million EVs on Indian roads along with 10,000 plus charging stations. The industry volumes have been fluctuating mostly depending on the incentives offered by the government. As of March 2023, Uttar Pradesh led the charts with more than 4.65 lakh EV registrations, followed by Maharashtra at 2.26 lakh registration. While Delhi took the third spot with 2.03 lakh registrations, Bengaluru stood fourth with 1.83 lakh EV registrations. Many serious players like Hero Eco, Aether, Electrotherm, Avon, Lohia, Ampere, etc. are continuing with the mission and trying to enforce positive change under the banner of SME. A major percentage of electric two-wheelers currently sold are slow speed, that is, less than 25 km per hour, scooters that do not require registration and licenses. Almost all electric scooters run on lead batteries to keep the prices low. Now you can have a look at the electric two-wheeler sales data for FY23 and 24 with various companies listed as follows. Now let us move on to national level policy. To assist the acceptance of electric vehicles in the country, the central government has announced a number of promotional measures in the previous 10 years, including tax incentives for electric vehicle owners, public EV charging infrastructure development and so on. There is a different timeline for various initiatives taken by policymakers and regulators as shown. Faster adoption and manufacturing of hybrid electric vehicles FAME 1 and 2. FAME or faster adoption and manufacturing of hybrid and electric vehicles is currently India's flagship scheme for promoting electric mobility. It was launched by DHI in 2015. Currently, it is in its second stage of implementation. FAME 2 is being implemented for a period of three years effective from 1st April 2019 with a budget allocation of 10,000 crore, which includes a spillover from FAME 1 of Rs 366 crore. The incentives offered in this scheme are as shown. The data by the Department of Heavy Industries revealed that Delhi had the highest number of public charging stations in the country at 1,845, while Karnataka has 704 such stations, Maharashtra has 660 EV charging stations. In total, India has 6,586 public charging stations across the length and breadth of country. The Department of Heavy Industries has also sanctioned 2,636 charging stations in 62 cities across 24 states and union territories under FAME India Scheme Phase 2. State-wise or union territories allocation of these charging stations is as follows. While the larger and richer states like Maharashtra and Tamil Nadu are expectedly far ahead, smaller states of Andhra has 266 charging stations. A very small union territory like Chandigarh has received sanction for 70 stations, nearly as many as Delhi, while the tiny Meghalaya has received sanctions for 40. Of course, by now, many more charging stations may have been put as we estimate India has 9,000 to 10,000 charging stations operating currently. Rest of the data for every state sanction is shown here. The government had launched two different incentive schemes for faster adoption and manufacturing of electric vehicles, which have now run their course successfully. FAME 1. The National Electric Mobility Mission Plan 2020 is a national mission document providing the vision and the roadmap for the faster adoption of electric vehicles and their manufacturing in the country. As part of the NEMMP 2020, the Department of Heavy Industry formulated a scheme which is faster adoption and manufacturing of hybrid and electric vehicles in India. Scheme in the year 2015 to promote the manufacturing of electric and hybrid vehicle technology and to ensure sustainable growth of the same. Phase 1 of this scheme was initially launched for a period of two years, commencing from 1st April 2015, which was subsequently extended from time to time, and the last extension was allowed up to 31st March 2019. 
The first phase of Fame India scheme was implemented through four focus areas, namely first, demand creation, second, technology platform, third, pilot project, and fourth, charging infrastructure. Market creation through demand incentives was aimed at incentivizing all vehicle segments, that is, two-wheelers, three-wheelers, auto, passenger four-wheeler vehicles, light commercial vehicles, and buses. The details of funds earmarked and utilized under phase one of Fame India scheme is tabulated as shown. We noticed that this is a scheme with 100% of allocated funds being utilized every year. Fame 2. The government approved phase 2 of the Fame scheme with an outlay of Rs 10,000 crore for a period of 3 years commencing from 1st April 2019 out of the total budgetary support. About 86% of the fund has been allocated for the demand incentive so as to create demand for EVs in the country. This phase aims to generate demand by way of supporting 7,000 e-buses, 5 lakh e-3 wheelers, 55,000 e-4 wheeler passenger cars including strong hybrid and 10 lakh e-2 wheelers. However, depending upon the offtake of different categories of ex-EVs, these numbers may vary as the provision has been made for inter as well as intra-segment wise fungibility. Fame 2 subsidy Phase 2 of this subsidy aims to support 1 million electric two-wheelers during the tenure of the subsidy. The said number of registered vehicles will get a subsidy of Rs 20,000 each from the government. Just like its last phase, only those two-wheelers that can cover an 80km distance on a single charge and can get a speed of at least 40km per hour are eligible for the scheme. In subsidizing the purchase, the government is also aiming to install 2,700 charging stations across the country. It will include locations such as metro stations, hilly states, smart cities and even highways. The Fame 2 subsidy amount in the beginning was Rs 10,000 per kilowatt hour, which the government later increased to Rs 15,000 per kilowatt hour, subject to a maximum of 40% of the vehicle cost. A typical two-wheeler has about 2 kilowatt battery. However, a recent announcement from the government has again reduced the subsidy margin. With this new announcement, the upper cap has been brought down to a maximum of 15% of an electric vehicle's cost starting 1st June 2023. This reduction in subsidies has resulted in a sharp decline in the sales of EVs since the last few months. Benefits for consumers in the FAME 2 subsidy The FAME 2 subsidy by the central government allows consumers to buy electric vehicles at a cheaper price. This encourages consumers to shift towards electric vehicles over fuel-powered vehicles. This also allows them to play their part in protecting the environment from pollution and encouraging reduced usage of fossil fuels. Additionally, several state governments have introduced their own subsidy for electric vehicles, which has sweetened the deal even further. There may be other incentives in terms of interest-free loans, road tax exemption, reduced or no registration fees, etc. Production-linked incentives, that is PLI scheme, for the automotive sector launched in September 2021 with a budgetary outlay of INR 25,938 crores to boost domestic manufacturing of advanced automotive technology products and attract investments in the automotive manufacturing value chain. The scheme has two parts, that is Champion OEM, which will make electric or hydrogen-powered vehicles, and Component Champions, which will make high-value and high-tech components. The scheme has attracted a proposed investment of INR 74,850 crore against the target estimate of investment of INR 42,500 crore over a period of five years. Now let us have a look at the PLI scheme for National Programme on Advanced Chemistry Cell, ACC Battery Storage. It was launched in 2021 to enhance India's manufacturing capabilities for the manufacturing of ACC in India with an outlay of INR 18,100 crore for seven years. The incentive will be disbursed thereafter over a period of five years on the sale of batteries manufactured in India. So far, three companies have been selected with a manufacturing capacity of 30 gigawatts. The second phase of the scheme will be launched soon. Additionally, the government has taken the following measures to provide impetus to green mobility further. The Union Budget 2023-2024 extended the customs duty exemption to the import of capital goods and machinery required for the manufacturing of lithium-ion cells for batteries used in electric vehicles. GST on electric vehicles has been reduced from 12% to 5%. GST on chargers and charging stations for electric vehicles has been reduced from 18% to 5%. Both commercial as well as private battery-operated vehicles are given green license plates and are exempted from permit requirements. 
waiver on road tax on EVs, which in turn will help reduce the initial cost of EVs. To expand and strengthen the public electric vehicle charging infrastructure across the nation, the Ministry of Power issued the revised consolidated guidelines and standards. The guidelines involve private players to install EV charging stations. In this direction, the oil marketing companies have announced the setting up of 22,000 EV charging stations in prominent cities and on national highways across the country. It is expected that EV sales will overtake the sales of conventional fuel vehicles in a few decades. In two wheelers in countries like China, it has already happened. We have seen that the EV industry, particularly in two wheeler India, has also gained significant momentum in the past two years. Hopefully, we will emerge as an important global player in the next few years. That was it for today's video. If you gained a lot of information about the EV vehicles, make sure to leave a like, hit the subscribe button, and if you have any questions, leave them below in the comments section. We will see you in the next video.